Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we explore in corporate social responsibility in Krasnodar region. I'm Oksana Bus. Today is my guest, Irena Yabazian, Director of Marketing and PR, uh, Krasnodar Expo, part of the IT group. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my first question to you. Um, there is no business that exists in isolation, isn't it? Do you know some business which can be in isolation? Well, actually, you were right. Of course, there is nothing in this world that can exist uh, successfully in isolation. Neither business nor people. So, it means that we all live in a society, in a community. We all should communicate to be, uh, just to live, not to exist, but to live and to be successful. So it's equal for business and for people, I would say. As you remember, a few months ago we have a conference. Yeah, uh, the, main topic, uh, the main topic of the conference was uh, corporate social responsibility. It was interesting for you or not? Well, um, of course it was interesting and it is interesting still. It's not just, um, you know, it's not an, an interest uh, just in time of a conference, yeah. Because the topic is um, very important for, uh, for business, for our region. Um, and um, I would say that it's just the beginning, the conference was just the beginning of uh, popularizing this topic in our region. And it, um, and it was, it, and it is a good initiative for, um, for, for, for the organizers. <laughs> yeah, for mm -hmm. the organizers, uh, because I know that uh, one of the main organizers uh, of this uh, event was uh, the Association of European Business here in Krasnodar region. And, um, uh, and, and, it's, and it's quite clear why it happens, uh, or why uh, they are the in initiators. Uh, because uh, this topic is um, is um, more popular with the European business, uh, and it's just uh, starting, uh, it, it just is in the beginning of its life here in Russia, especially in uh, in, in regions, uh, um, not in the, in Moscow, let's say, uh, or Saint Petersburg, um, and um, what what I, what I would like to say is that. Um, uh, the initiators, the organizers, we all, we, we, we should do our best uh, to, uh, to, to, to promote to prom the top Yeah, to support the uh, this initiative and to, to, to proceed with uh, developing this idea, wi with cult cultivating this idea here in Krasnodar region. region. It seemed to me that somebody were disappointed about the conference, about the topic of conference, because it is too difficult to realize what is it social cor corporate responsibility here in Krasnodar region, for me. No, well, the matter is that um, it just, uh, the, the mis and there is a gap between um, the real business, uh, the, r the real life here, and the life that should be, the, the, uh, the life, you know, just a dream life, you know. Um, there is a gap between those people who are engaged with foreign companies and who are working for foreign companies and f between those who are working in a private business and mostly it's a small business. And of course, those who are in, uh, involved in small business, they they don't understand what is the benefit from CSR. First of all, they don't understand what is C what CSR is, and then ah, the second, I, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the most uh, important to know what is CSR for you personally. Well, uh, for me, and not only for me, I guess for those people, yeah, that we are studied, yeah. yeah, that we are, we are studied to discussing. Um, the only thing they should, the first and the most simple thi thing they should understand for the beginning is that corporate social responsibility, it's not a, just a nice phrase, yeah. Yeah? nice wording, but it's, it's a simple definition. Def only. It's a simple definition for, let's say, it's, it's a way of life, it's a philosophy of business, and it's, 
and it's very simple because these three words they stay for three simple things. This first very one, very simple. Yeah, first <laughs> one, corporate. It means just company. It's your own business. Social. It means the community and th all those people that are involved and can influence your business. Those people that y your stakeholders, the stakeholders of your business, and the, the or your employees, for example. First, first of all, maybe even the employees. And uh, the third word, responsible, it's, the, I guess, the most <laughs> <laughs> simple. It's just your, the, your understanding of responsibility. And in total, it means just an attitude to, um, to doing business. You can't do business without paying attention to, uh, to the environment which you create for your employees, let's say. Yeah. You can't do business without paying. Uh, I wonder, I'm awful sorry. Uh, I wonder maybe the main part of social responsibility, corporate social responsibility, it is your attitude about your employees or not? Yeah, it's one of the most important things that uh, the, um, the company owners, the management should pay attention to uh, because uh, our employees are uh, influence their, their opinion leaders inside of the company and they are, uh, are so-called ambassadors out of the company. Um, so um, the way you treat your people, uh, just uh, the, the way you treat I your employees influence the result of your business. So it influences the marketing of yeah. the company and all the stuff. Um, and of course, uh, the companies that... And motivation of do that or don't yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah, sure. The company that put priority on, on, on its people uh, benefits uh, gr greatly. Yeah. Yeah, um, you know, um, I know that you are in exhibition business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not a secret. <laughs> no. Would you please explain what is exhibition business in today's dynamic world? Um, I would say it's the most dynamic business in our world <laughs> because uh, <laughs> the most dynamic. Yeah, because. Um, as a marketer, I would say that uh, it's the most interesting business, first of all, and um, because uh, it's um, it can, it involves uh, all um, branches of economy and industry, all industries, uh, and uh, bring together the different industries. Yeah, this most is different uh, industries. The, the most difficulties, I it seems. Mm, might be, uh, yeah. From point of view of marketing, of course, it's difficult uh, because you should um, understand each industry where where you are doing. Where you're from. Where you are doing the exhibitions yeah. or creating and the what trade you want. Yeah, yeah. And of course, uh, um, everything that is done by our business is driven by our customers and their needs. Of course, we should. We want to be the uh, indispensable part of our customers. Yeah, and uh, anybody who exhibits the most um, demanding person, yeah, or not? It's just, um, it just true for every customer, I guess. Um, starting from a buyer, it's a shop. Um, let's say it's it just almost the same. Of course, everybody wants to get the most out of yeah, of output. Yeah, yeah. About the most here. output about uh, yeah. they pay. Or they all pay money. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe mm, it will be interesting to know more information about how the um, internet developing influence of the exhibition business. Oh well, um, every, mm, there are a lot of specialists <laughs> <laughs> that previewed uh, the end of exhibition trade fairs uh, in, in a classical way because uh, everybody is saying that inter internet is uh, um, just, you know, overwhelming in our life and uh, exhibitions go online. Mm -hmm. um, I guess um, it's not true because um, it's just the same story with, uh, let's say, with newspapers. 
Yeah. Why don't newspapers die? <laughs> <laughs> because... Because it's a style of life, yeah? Yeah, because... It's the same with the exhibitions, because th there, there are, and I, I'm sure there will be always, people who prefer to see, to talk, to communicate, to negotiate, and only after that to to make a decision about... Um, Is it important to buying? negotiate? Yeah. Nearly? Yeah, it's... it's Eyes by rise. Yes, it's face-to-face -face contact. It's the it's the way the way the best way uh, to negotiate to, to, to have negotiate to and to to take decision. That's why uh, exhibitions are the most popular place. It's the most popular place to and convenient place uh, to do. Uh, to it's the most convenient place to to make the decision because there is all there are all the tools that mm -hmm. help you. Mm -hmm. It is interesting. Mm -hmm. What it is C CSR to exhibition business? Well, as I told, um, uh, trade fairs, exhibitions, shows, uh, it's the place where people meet, where people make contacts. And of course the added value of our business is that we, uh, we, we are not only creating such place, uh, we do our best uh, to to uh, to create atmosphere. other the atmosphere which which is um, which is also uh, in it in its turn created by additional events that that are taking place in, in within the exhibitions. You know, um, let's say that we. Um, do a lot of congresses and conferences for our exhibitors, for our visitors, and it's our and it's our goodwill, actually, because um, we understand that um, there should be an added value in our events. Yeah. It's not only from the point of view of marketing, but also from the point of view of our res social responsibility. Yeah. Um, the other side of the story is that we are also mm, involved in, um, you know, in community uh, issues. Yeah. Uh, we take part in such initiatives as doing conferences in CSR and other um, and other other ac uh, activities. activities. Yeah. Um, so. Our, um, as we see that our role in this, um, in the life of our region is, um, is just making a good environment for our business. To we bring and people and to show that Krasnodar territory, it, it is the territory of the high level of responsibility, corporate social responsibility. Yeah, even. among other questions. Yeah, not uh, not only an uh, investment. Uh, place, good place to invest, but also a place where you can do in a good environment. Yeah. Um, we just mentioned before that uh, the uh, main part of the corporate social responsibility is the uh, um, part of your employees. And uh, yeah, just one of the aspects of and social responsibility. What is uh, the another aspect of the uh, corporate social responsibility? There are a lot of, um, and of course, uh, many companies undertake um, to be environmentally responsible. So they are going, uh, doing green business, they are you know, uh, raising awareness of uh, environmental issues yeah. within the market where they serve. Um, they uh, develop events within which they just um, highlight the environmental concerns and so on. It's another part of social responsibility. Supporting local community, it's not only charity yeah. actually. Um, though I know that in Russia there is a um, sustainable meaning, mm. a sustainable I idea, let's say, about CSR. Uh, most 
business people think that CSR is just charity. And that's why, <laughs> that's why there is a, a difficulty to, to understand uh, yes, that it is not really. To help them understand that it, it, charity is just the smallest part of uh, being responsible. Um, of course, it's, um, it's a good part of it, but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, if you uh, support uh, some charitable organization uh, and at the same time you are not paying taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it is not <laughs> or you are the way to be yes, responsible. Or you are trying to get rid of your employees in an, in an illegal way. You, you know, it's uh, everything should be uh, um, in global a world step by complex. step going on the way of social responsibility. Of course, yeah. And we, we, Russia and Grosnada territory. Too. Yeah, we are we are fast movers. I <laughs> guess we will. We will <laughs> We will make this gap very, yeah. very fast. You very know. fast. Yeah. Um, it seems that the problem or the topic of corporate social responsibility is it is the tool for relationship between government, between local community, and between business. I would I wouldn't say that it's a tool. It's just um, it's just uh, uniting. Uh, it's just um, you know an issue that is uniting all the three parts you mentioned, yeah. actually, because um, the relations between these the three parts of the of, of the community of the local community uh, and um, the good relations. Yeah. Is it right that corporate social responsibility it is uh, some tool between government, between local community and business to? communicate to be to go in the right way well i wouldn't say that it's tool because um, um, actually it should be a uniting platform for all these three parts to communicate um, you know, th th this is all actually because um, uh, all the three parts should be responsible for the uh, for the way they work the way they do their activity for the way they do their business and so on and so forth. So it means that um, corporate social responsibility may be a platform for uh, communicating and for listening to each other, yeah. you know, and uh, not only uh, listen, but also understanding each Understand, other. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why I guess uh, it's, um, it's 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 a good topic just yeah. just uh, just uh, to to talk to each other yeah oh well there is a long way to go but if we move step by step we we'll reach the understanding of corporate social responsibility further at least at, at least, least the understanding at yeah. least your sure. understanding so thank you very much um, my pleasure it, it was pleasant to be with you in you. that first experience to exploring the CSI here today and uh, we hope that we continue it in the future time. Yeah, why not? Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.